So way back in the 60s, before we ever heard of global warming and climate change, the writers of Doctor Who imagined a future world where pollution had actually led to global cooling and a brand new ice age. Huh. So, The Ice Warriors, Doctor Who's story number 39. Patrick Troughton plays the second Doctor. In the modern terminology, he would just be known as Two. Um, he's a slightly bumbling genius, and he's a lot of fun. He's a little bit more humble than some of the other Doctors, but he still knows he's the smartest man in the room. Um, he's genuinely trying to help people but he's still a goofball. Uh, his companions at this point in his travels, you have Jamie, the Scottish Highlander, who's brave and ready to fight, and you have Victoria, who basically screams a lot. Um, the villain of the piece is the Ice Warrior leader, Varga, from Mars. These are big, goofy, armored aliens who want to take over the world because what else did aliens in the 60s ever really want to do? Um, the Allies, there's a team of European scientists who are trying to melt the glaciers as part of a coordinated effort around the world, um, including actually some female scientists who actually have a lot more to do besides scream. There are some of them that I think don't actually even scream at all, even when they're in danger. They're actually competent and, you know, useful, which is cool. Um, the enemies, well, there are several other ice warriors in the uh, alien uh, armada. Okay. The story is fairly fast-paced for an original series entry, um, and it's a lot of fun. Um, the upside is mainly the female scientists who actually do stuff. Um, the downside is that this is one of the Doctor Who stories where many of the episodes were lost, so ha almost half of the thing is animated. The animation is actually pretty cool. It's not really good animation, but it fits the actual directorial style of the live action stuff, and it's, um, goes together with the live episodes fairly smoothly. Um, the other downside is that Victoria is completely useless as a companion. She literally doesn't do anything other than scream. And she sometimes screams when she should be quiet because she also screams when the aliens are trying to find her and they don't know where she is. She sees one of them screams and they know where she is. It's that bad. Um, this is a four-star episode of Doctor Who for me. Um, I would say it's for Whovians only or for fans of old school science fiction. If you don't have the patience with old school Doctor Who or you don't have the patience for old school science fiction, you might want to stay away from this. But if you're a true Whovian and if you like old school sci-fi, you have got to check this one out. The Ice Warriors Doctor Who story number 39. Four stars. Four stars.